Hey, welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. How the heck is everybody today? You guys, it's supposed to be 108. So that means it's gonna be about 110 here where we live. So we're still dressing for summer, you guys. Um, it's crazy, I know some of you guys are already getting cool weather. Some people have gotten snow. I know. It's crazy, crazy. Anyway, my sister, for those of you who are new, my sister was out here visiting for two weeks. Uh, we took her back to the airport last night. So everything's back to normal now. No more going out to eat for a little while and um, calming down and tracking is back on track. Um, I had a great night's sleep last night. Harry and I took our Zen Z's at 9 p.m. and it really gave me a much better sleep last night. So I was very happy with that. Um, interesting thing, you guys. Not me, man. You didn't. That's right, you didn't. I got up like at four and you were already out of bed. Yeah, I, I'm having pro I was having problems in the nether regions. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Oh. Anyway, uh, we'll have to fix that. Some MCT oil. Oh, no. Lube the gears to get everything moving out. That's yeah. what we're going to do. Anyway, you guys, I always share what we had the day before. And that's based on a menu that I create today. So I create my menu. I, I put it all into my Fitbit, track my macros, then come back to you and share that with you again, because everything that you do, every everything you do, as and everything you ingest, that would be over-the-counter medication, that would be your regular pills, that would be adding or subtracting vitamins. Vitamins have little um, added ingredients in it, you guys, and oils in it. So there's hidden inflammation, hidden natural, natural ingredients, which aren't natural at all, unless they really tell you what those ingredients are. I've had to go to the manufacturer's nutritional and ask them um, due to allergies more than I can tell, huh, Harry? Well. Sleep, huge, huge difference. I did not get any sleep the other day and I went up in weight. I had a great night's sleep last night. So let me explain. I tracked everything and gave you guys a menu yesterday but some things happened and i had to go in there and change it and i want to share with you the differences of the two and what it did to our macros and our weight you guys so here we go everything in blue was what i put in yesterday and then the red here are the changes Below are what I had originally and then the changes. This looks really bad, but let me explain. Yesterday I did have a 10 ounce can of white meat chicken that I drained. I did put four tablespoons of avocado mayo on it. Instead of the Vlasic pickle spear, I actually had a half of a dill pickle chopped. I had two ounces of alfalfa sprouts and a half of an avocado. Now, I added back plant-based foods, you guys, and I prepared for it. Let me share. Because we've been on an elimination diet and we've been on a, we did a carnivore challenge. We were keto war before that, then we did an elimination diet. My butt, my gut biome, <laughs> Sorry, Freudian slip. Yeah. Gut biome was not prepared for plants. So I helped prepare it. I bought, and I'm not saying you have to get this brand or anything, but I bought probiotics that help break down plant foods and digest fiber because I knew I was going to put it back in my food. I didn't have these when we went to Tombstone on vacation last weekend. And I had some salad and we had, what else did we have uh, that was vegetable? And we both had a little bit of queasy stomach, a little bit of upset. So I took these two days before, took one yesterday in the morning. And you guys, I had no problem with my raw avocado. I had no problem with those alfalfa sprouts. And for dinner, I had no problem with my um, Caesar salad, which was a serving of romaine lettuce. Now. I put down, I had a spear, but I actually had a dill pickle. Here's the huge change. I didn't have a Caesar, a chicken Caesar salad. I had 
a blackened salmon, Cajun blackened salmon, six ounces from Applebee's. That's where we went. And then I got a side I didn't Caesar go. salad. Marty did not go. Um, I took my own primal dressing and I took 45 grams and used all of it. So I had two tablespoons of the Parmesan, two teaspoons of the Parmesan cheese they put on it. It was the romaine lettuce. I told them, hold the croutons. I brought my own dressing. I said, hold the dressing. And it was delicious. This was filling. It was delicious. But it changed. This and this changed what I had here originally. So I went back in today. Instead of 17.5 grams, I actually had 21.4 grams. And this is terrible looking, and I apologize. The pen won't write there for some reason. I must have gotten grease or something in that mm -hmm. area. So this actually says, instead of 62% fat and 82.2 grams, I had 64% fat and 104.5 grams, which is fine. Instead of 32% protein and 95.3 grams, I had 30% protein and 107.7 grams. So instead of my low 1179, I had actually 1,445 calories because I changed the amount of dressing and I changed the meat from chicken to salmon. And I went to Applebee's and said, how much is your Cajun blackened salmon? Six ounces. And that's what they had on their website for that particular meat. Now, Harry had his six ounces of ground chuck, 85, 15, didn't you? Because I was not yeah. here, you made it. Yeah, they Did saw you it. make your three eggs in a tablespoon of butter? Yep. Okay. Last night, you guys, I put down that Harry was going to have four chicken thighs, and I chose the chicken thighs that were boneless, I mean, that were bone on and skinless. Okay? Because I thought that's what he would have. And we were going to take out the bones and weigh them. Now, Harry's going to insert a picture here of what they looked like because they were absolutely scrum delicious, oh delicious. God. And I'm jealous, but I have enough for us to have today. So, I measured, I thought, when I did his macros, these were bone-in, skinless chicken thighs. So I said, you can have four because you take all those bones out, you weigh them, right, and you put that back in. Well, come to find out, they were solid, boneless, huge chicken thighs. And I didn't open them up. I kept them rolled and I wrapped bacon, two slices of bacon around each one, you guys. And I gave Harry three originally because I was going to give him four, Man. right? But they were pretty big. So he ate two and halfway through his second one, he's like, Wendy, these, he goes, didn't you say these had bone in? I go, yeah. And he goes, these don't have any bones, and they are really dense. They're they were really, good. They were really good. It was like two and giant chicken full. McNuggets. And he goes, I'm getting full. So we came back in the kitchen. Yes, they were like giant chicken McNuggets, only better. Mm -hmm. Only better, because they had bacon on them. Mm -hmm. um, I took his. I waited. It was six ounces, the one he couldn't eat. So then I weighed the two smaller ones that I had cooked um, for today, and they were five point like three ounces. So I thought, oh great, so I need to change that. So he actually ingested about 12 ounces of chicken thighs. Yeah, with, and, with the four slices with of bacon. bacon. He had the two tablespoons of bacon aioli mayonnaise like I put down with the horseradish mustard. We had the two scoops of collagen each with the coconut almond milk. And you guys, we put in the pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake Jordan skinny syrup. Yes, we did. Thank you, Pam. And I've got stuff coming from Vitacost today, and if I get it, I'll share it. But look what it did to him. Now, his carb amount stayed the same. His fat changed. He went from 66% to 65%, but look at the grams went up. 134.5 grams. His protein went up from 34%, you guys, and this was on the high Whoa. scale Check it out, 35% to 162.5 oh. grams of protein. And his lean body mass is 133, and we're trying to stay at 133 or less. Look what happened to his calories, you guys. Well, now I understand. That's right. So, the moral of our story for Harry and I is we want to track 
everything For, to the best of our ability to what our food trackers tell us or the restaurant portion nutritional information on you know when you google it tells you or the menu tells you you know the problem is sans the potato starch and all the other garbage that comes with the food you want to know you want to go into the restaurants with your eyes wide open and make sure you have the knowledge that you need in order to stay on track to pick healthy fats to get rid of those hidden inflammatory fats to take your own dressing if you can you guys even if it's just a little thing of olive oil and you ask them for a side of vinegar most restaurants have balsamic vinegar they have uh, red wine vinegar and regular vinegar and everybody has lemon wedges so please please try to stay away from if you have in inflammation if you have an autoimmune issue then you are super sensitive to bad oils the seed oils the canola oils the corn oils the soy oils cotton seed why are we ingesting cotton seed oil you guys that was made as a machine as oil better known as wesson yeah. right so i took my primal caesar dressing you guys will see the picture but i took my seasonal season primal dressing took the container out while when the when the waitress brought everything and she goes oh now i see why you didn't need any dressing she goes that's a good idea i've never had anybody get mad at me ever well why would they you know and if you go to a, a fancy schmancy restaurant you can ask them for a side of 100 percent olive oil oh no just put your stuff in a fancy container well i know but i'm just saying <laughs> i take my stuff i do and i'm glad i did yeah um <clears throat> my sister tasted the she's what you know oh you brought your own dressing i said yeah she goes that's a good idea yeah it's a good idea anyway you guys huge difference here well i'll say let me show you why now i went down two tenths of a pound everything i ate was perfectly keto and non-inflammatory -inflam and i had a good night's sleep but look at harry harry went up two tenths of a pound i'm surprised i only went up two tenths of a pound well i think it's because you had bad sleep and your intestines aren't working properly i really do yeah but still i'm surprised moving along with all that yes with, with all 1864 that 1864 yeah with the change i mean of the chicken. my gosh for harry that's a lot of yes calories. it is because well I, look at your protein 162.5 yeah, it was already going to be just a few, just a 1.5 points over. So, huge difference. When Harry tells me he's full and he's not going to be able to eat another one, he's full. And then that means there was a lot of meat on there. So, I'm glad I rechecked this. I hope this didn't confuse anybody with the board. But I went through and scrubbed it from the menu. So, anyway, let's go to the big board. And I am going to change places with Harry, and he's going to explain this a little bit better. Because this is his board. I got screwed. You didn't get but screwed. But I'll tell you what, that was a good meal. Where? That chicken was so good. Oh, my God, that was the best chicken I ever had. The thing about it, I'm cutting into it, right? I'm going, oh, where's the bone? Okay, I guess I'll get on the next one. No bone. No bone. And I'm like, oh, my God. God, there's no bones in here. It's all meat. It's all meat. It's all mine. And then there was three of them there, and I went, that's when I told Wendy about it, and I said, hey, there's no bones in here, and I said, oh, I better not eat that third one. And I said, let's go weigh it. Yeah. And it was like, oh my gosh, this one weighs six ounces. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. That's craziness. So let's go to where we had yesterday. See, I was up. Look at that. Yeah, I was up because I had bat. I was up here because yeah, of this. But bad I don't know. We, it was the bad sleep because there's really no reason why you should have went up no. with what we ate. And the calories either. Because look, I went down from right. eating that 1.2 tenths pounds. Right. So yeah, it was all because you didn't sleep for nothing that night. And then yesterday there was so much a conglomeration of different foods. Right. You know, and uh, but That's you you still are. went down two tenths. Yes, I did. You know. And I went up two tenths. I had a great night's sleep, and my food was beautiful. I'm kind of. I'm kind of really. 
I'm kind of really surprised at that, you know? <clears throat> yeah. So, you guys, we are going to continue to track. We need to track. We oh, yeah. have very sensitive systems. I think the closer to you, your goal that you get and the more stalls you have, the more important it is to track. Yeah. And I think getting flustered and, and um, upset, I think you just have to keep redoing those things. Okay? So I am going to go and make today's menu. And then we'll come back a little later in the next segment and go over that. But you guys, watch the fats, especially when you go out to restaurants. We take our own butter, you know, or we don't use their butter. We, we forgot our tallow. Yesterday, on Friday, uh, and we didn't Friday, put yeah. any on. We didn't put any fat on because they didn't have it. You can ask them for butter. Usually, their butter's unsweetened because it's the butter you get with the bread. And ask them, is it real butter? Can I have some heavy cream? Can you ask the kitchen if they have any heavy cream? Some kitchens don't. The the more um, diners, you know, they really don't cook with that. Uh, finer restaurant probably does. Um, you know, take your dressing or just use lemon. Or lime. Lime is great on a salad. Lemon, lime, a little bit of vinegar, you know, or take your own if you have to have it. I try not to use even their mayonnaise because the mayonnaise, you guys, as much as I grew up with Best Foods and Hellman's and Duke's, they do not have good oil. They have inflammatory oils in them. And if you're stalled and you've cut out everything in your diet except your mayonnaise, Go read the back label. And if I don't care how much of a mayonnaise girl or, or, or guy you are, I suggest you get a jar of pure avocado oil mayonnaise from Chosen Food or Primal and read the back of the label to make sure it's not avocado oil added with canola oil, safflower oil, soy oil, canola oil, cottonseed oil, or any other kind of oil. Because if you're stalled, and that's the only thing you still are using, take it away. Let me know if that makes a difference. I want to know, you guys. I really do. Because I'm telling you, make your own. There are so many good recipes out there for avocado oil dressing. And again, when you go buy your avocado oil, ah, the industry, they're smart. They know they can doctor it and add a little canola oil, a little soy oil to that. Call it avocado oil because that's the main ingredient in it. But they add this other stuff, so I would go with Chosen Foods or a Primal or a healthy brand you know does not have canola, soy, or corn oil in it. And just because you buy it at Sprouts or you buy it at Whole Foods, Look, those people are vegan and they eat seed oil all the time. Oh, yeah. So there is that bad oil in their products all the time. You have to read your labels. I'm telling you, if you change your mayonnaise, just your mayonnaise, that's the only thing you're eating that's not keto and you're going, why? Why can't I get past the stall, get, toss the mayonnaise? That's all I'm saying. Toss the mayonnaise. Yeah, and replace it. And replace it if you have to have mayo. I'm a mayo girl. Yes, it's more expensive. Are you worth it? Yes, you're worth it. Quit buying Starbucks and get some good mayonnaise. They changed their label, chosen food, classic mayonnaise. Get some. Or primal. You know, don't, don't go around in circles. Don't be the dog that chases its tail. You know, open your eyes, open your ears, listen to what people are saying about seed oils, the doctors, the papers, the white papers, based, this is fact-based fact -based information out there. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a, a, a medical practitioner of any kind, but I do know from everything I've read, seed oil well, you got proof are right here. inflammatory, and the minute you take those things away from your diet, if that's the last thing you have to take away, you guys, 
do it. Do it today. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, you guys, I have the menu made today. I'm very excited because we are having another round of pumpkin spice protein chaffles. Yay! Ooh, I am not going to French toast them this time. I just want to try them plain. Not plain because they're full of flavor with butter and syrup like regular waffles. So my recipe I got a question. Is, I got a question. How did I do uh, when we had waffles last time? You lost 1.2 oh, Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. So we each are going to have a scoop of the pumpkin spice protein by BioTrust. It's going to have a tablespoon of Khalifa coconut almond milk. It's going to have three eggs in it, you guys. I'm going to whip that up, cook it in my Cuisinart. Then I'm going to, ta oh, I'm going to put a little bit of skinny syrup pumpkin cheesecake flavoring and some stevia in it. When it's done, we're going to smear it with a tablespoon of butter and we're going to cover it with Walden Farm syrup and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. And I'll share all that with everybody. Harry's got the same thing, but in addition to that, he also gets what? two eggs cooked yeah. in a tablespoon of butter. Okay. 3.6 ounces of ground chuck because that was the last of his chuck with you a tablespoon it. of tallow. Yeah. Ooh, homemade tallow. Now, for dinner, I went and weighed these puppies. What? I get my chicken. Oh, the my, chickens. My bacon wrapped chicken. Yes. Ooh, oh my that's gosh. Leftovers dinner. I get 8.5 ounces of chicken thighs. Chicken wrapped in four slices of thick farmland bacon, my favorite. So four slices. Harry and I through the day are going to have two scoops of collagen and a scoop of MCT oil powder for me. And we're going to have the coconut almond milk by Khalifa. So for the day, I'm going to have 2% carbs for a total of 7.2 grams. 70% fat for a total of 102.7 grams. 28% protein for a total of 94.9 .9 grams, and my total calories are going to be 1,348 calories. Harry's not going to have any. His carbs total is 0%, but there's 2 grams of carbs. That's the eggs. 72% fat, 127.5 grams. 28% protein for a total of 112.3 grams, and his total calories are 1,618 calories. Okay, we are going to break our fast with my pumpkin spice protein chaffles. And according to my recipe, I'm going to make Harry and I a full Quasinar batch, which will give us each four of the chaffles. I get four and you get yes. four. Yes. So, All right. I know. So I've got six eggs in here. That's a double batch. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of the Khalifa almond milk. I wish I had my pumpkin spice half almond oh, milk because it would great. be delicious because Pam posted on our Loving It on Keto Fans Facebook group. That's how she made hers and it sounded delicious. That's why I'm making mine today. Thank you, Pam. I'm jealous because you actually have the Khalifa pumpkin spice yeah, I wonder flavor. How that turned out. I'd she love said it was know. delicious. So I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to put just one pinch of salt i am gonna put i need my tea well this is a teaspoon the lid is a teaspoon so each of us so there's two teaspoons of my jordan skinny syrup pumpkin cheesecake because that's the only kind i can find in the entire western hemisphere practically so two capfuls now I put a little bit of the toffee in and I've got some stevia coming that's pumpkin spice flavored. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to make it a little sweet, seven. Make it interesting. No, to give it that sweetness. Now, this is BioTrust pumpkin spice protein and it's delicious you guys if you guys like to make smoothies you guys like to have shakes you guys are busy 
I would suggest getting some of this. Uh, Biotrust may still be on sale. Use the code FALL35. That's what Biotrust sent me. I am not an affiliate of Biotrust, but I believe in and love their products. So we're doing uh, two scoops because this is a double batch. Two scoops. There's got to be a way to make pumpkin spice. I'm going to find it. And it feels like regular old um, pancake or waffle batter. It's just got that consistency. But you know what it needs? Some pumpkin spice seasoning. Like McCormick pumpkin pie spice seasoning. Yes, indeed. Or a little cinnamon. You don't have the pumpkin spice, but I suggest getting some pumpkin spice because it's delicious. Marry that flavor in here. Mm -hmm, mm. Give it a really good stir. Get the pumpkin uh, protein mixed in really well. That's what I say. Oh, oh gosh, doesn't that smell delicious? Oh, yeah. And don't forget your Walden Farm syrup, you guys. Use whatever sugar-free syrup you like, but I like Walden's. That's just me. When you're making a double batch, don't overfill. If you have a spoon like mine, just remember how you measure it out all the time. And everyone gets a scoop, and then I go back and just use half a scoop to fill in the, the blanks, because this will fluff up, you guys. This is going to fluff up because of that protein powder. Okay, that's Harry's. It's cooking. I have measured out his, his beef. I'm going to put it in with, got to do a tablespoon of tallow. You guys got to get your good fats in, and tallow is a fabulous fat. Butter is a fabulous fat. Yeah, as long as you get the right kind of butter. Do not get any of that soft, bad butter that has hidden vegetable oils in it. You guys, read the labels. Make sure it says 100% pure butter. Kerrygold is my fave. That smells so, so good. Vegetable oil and seed oil is only good for one thing. Lubricating machinery. That's right. All right, Harry. Now we're gonna burn. We're gonna brown. They just the decided butter. to start selling it to people too. Yes, they did. Well, they found a way to make more get money. Cheap you know. product. Yeah. Well, they they, they didn't. They don't care. They about didn't your understand. Health. Well, when they first came out with it, they didn't understand. No. Okay, you, know, you guys. We'll come back when it's bacon, eggs, and chaffles for Harry because I have to make two batches, and you got to eat them when they're warm. They're delicious. Okay, here's that butter. You guys got to remember, always brown your butter. When the big bubbles end, and then you can put your eggs in. Can you smell it here? Yeah, I can, in my head. I can smell it in my head. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look no, up. I love those things, man. They taste so good. Oh, my God. That was probably because the stuff you put in them. What did you put in them? Because it fluffed right up. Look at that. The look. pumpkin protein powder. Look, yeah. they look like regular... Waffles. Waffles. Yeah. I mean, and they taste like regular. You do not have any eggy taste. No, no. It's all. no funky taste. It no. tastes like you got a waffle batter. Right. You made it and you made your waffles. Yeah. It's just fantastic. See what I mean by don't overfill? Because, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's all. That's about all she puts in right there when she does this last corner. That's about it, unless you got anything left in there. Because see how they're like barely. I mean, that's nuts. Yep. Oh, that's that was, hot. Yeah, that was... Woo! Well, that's my favorite. Hamburger. Oh, yeah. hamburger. Oh, God, favorite. yeah. Ham well, if I put the chips in it, then mm. it's really... That's like... And you like it with the Kerrygold number one. butter better, you oh, said? Oh, yeah. I love Kerrygold butter on them and the chips. And that's about all... And you know, egg. You said oh, you eggs. like the eggs. I love eggs, but I'm... Look at that butter. Oh, oh God. Oh, look at that. Oh. Smell it. It's the only way to go, man. And as much butter as you can put on them, too, is what I, you know, the problem is it's really hard to spread the butter out. 
You almost need really melted butter almost, you know? Right. Well, they it melts pretty quick. I was just trying not to have the syrup fall off the plate because you had so many waffles here. Look at that. I know. Look at that. Isn't that something? They're beautiful. Oh, man. They were so beautiful and full and just light as air delicious. Yeah, and they were all mine. Okay, you guys, this is Harry's pumpkin spice protein chocolates. Ouch. <laughs> Is it hot? Yes, it is. Hold on a minute. Oh my gosh. This bowl is hot. Don't have to worry about it being not hot. And your beef and egg bowl, Harry. Oh Yum. yeah, man. That's that, all mine. Guys. Look at this. Look at all this. This is all mine, man. We'll come back when we do my chapels, but Harry's got to eat now, you guys. And I'd lose weight eating this. I'm going to put yours over here. It's craziness. Hope I don't screw up somewhere today. So this was the second. This was the second batch right here. Yes, this is the second. This is my batch. Yeah, look how batch. pretty those are. So golden, and look how fluffy they are, you guys. Now one side of my waffle uh, iron makes it look a little bit prettier, so I always flip it over. But oh my gosh, and then the Kerrygold butter on it. Yeah. Got I it. agree. Maybe we need to because see how soft yeah, they are. Yeah. Just get some warmed butter. Well, I. They, this came right out of the refrigerator too, yeah. but Walden syrup. I'm sorry if you guys uh, are not opposed to sucralose and it doesn't kick you. It's awesome. Use whatever you want, Land Canto, Chalk Zero, whatever flavor you can eat that's keto, you guys. And I'll tell you, you serve these to your family, and they are not going to know that it's a keto chaffle. Yeah. They're going to think they're eating pumpkin spice waffles because yeah. they're that delicious. Yeah. Her mother loves these, loves chocolates. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, these are my pumpkin spice. You guys, they bake just like regular waffles with that protein powder in it. I would suggest getting some if you like pumpkin spice or just use vanilla. Just use your favorite vanilla protein powder. Oh, you guys, the smell, I can't even describe it. It's fall, it's pumpkin spice, it's everything I wanted. It's sweet and delicious. So you know what that means? Gotta eat now, folks. I am so excited. Vitacost just delivered. And you know what's in it? Do you know what's in it? You want to see what's in it? I'm excited. Are you? Yes. Can you just tell I'm excited? Open the box. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Oh, look at how big it is. And it's heavy, too. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, I know what's in there. Pam, can you guess what it is? Come on, come on. Shelly, what do you think? What do you think? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, it all better be here. Woohoo! It's all here. It's all here. It's all here. For oh man, you guys, this is melted. What is it? <gasps> My butter cacao. It's don't even touch it. It's gotta go in the refrigerator. It's gotta go in the freezer. Okay. It's my cacao butter. Oh great. C cacao. That's what I get for living in Arizona. Ooh, another it's one. It's just all smashed. What is it? It was, it's cacao, organic cacao butter. Oh, it's real butter it's butter? It's the chocolate butter that we put in our coffee. Oh, It tastes so delicious. Shoot. It's got lake acid All and it's so drops. good for you. Here it is. Woo I'm so excited. Let's pull out the big old puppy. Ooh, out of the way. I think she's excited. Damn, I, I got so much excitement going on here. Oh, pancake syrup. Uh oh, where's the one I'm. Uh oh. Uh oh. You better not give it me two different ones. Oh no! What happened? My spicy ketchup. This is one of the excitements. What is that? It's new naturals, new stevia concentrated. Pumpkin spice syrup. Oh, the best time for pumpkin spice is all the time. <laughs> it's brand yeah. new. I've never used it before. Here, check it out. Get the nutritional facts right here. Glycerin, water, stevia extract, extract of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, cloves, organic acacia gum, organic gar gum, and xanthan gum. 
Woohoo! All natural pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. That's a it's different like one. Or Jordan's, that... It's like Jordan's. No, I got two. Oh, good. Okay. Jordan's skinny syrup. Only it's made with stevia. Now, let me see this. I don't think these are what I've been waiting for. This is just my syrup. Okay. What the heck? Let me see this. They ordered two different ones. Let me see this. Did you screw up? This one doesn't have my Khalifa pumpkin spice half creamer in it. They must be sending it in a separate one. Dang nabbit. Yeah, everybody in the well, world wants it. Well, you know what? I'm not upset because I have pumpkin spice. Because I... Like, I OD'd on it, too, and I got my... Oh, look! Wow, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Let me share. Let me share. Let me share. Let me share. Look at it. I got spicy yeah. tomato ketchup got by the... Alterna Sweets. Got but your... look! Weird ketchup. Look, look, look. I got barbecue sauce from Alterna Sweets. It's made with stevia, you guys. This is water, tomato paste. I need a magnifying glass, black strap molasses, white vinegar, erythritol, butter, sea salt, liquid smoke, spices, some natural flavor, onions, paprika, garlic, stevia extract, and red chili peppers. Very clean ingredients. And I just ran out of my pancake syrup Waldens because I gave my daughter Chalice some more. So that's good. I'm excited about this. This is what I'm excited about. You had coffee? But no, what I really, really thought this had in it. I guess I have to be more patient. It's the Khalifa. I did order it, didn't I? Oh my gosh, did I order it? Now she's questioning herself. I'm going to go on Vitacost. I'm going to make sure I ordered it. Because now I'm really worried. Did I order it? I think I ordered it. I thought I pushed the button, said six. We'll go look. Oh, please. I'm watching Sahil Headbanger Kitchen. Very important. <gasps> there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. It shipped on September 18th. September is 18th. What's today? Today is September 21st. This shipped out before the other one. Look. Anyway, I'm excited. It's there. I ordered it. I ordered it before the other one. I guess I have to be patient just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Or it could come today. It could be coming from a different place. But I ordered it. it scared me. Okay, you guys, I'm excited. I'm going to use this with coffee and see what it tastes like. Oh, really? Yeah. You want some coffee? Yeah, I'll try some. it out. Yeah, let's, let's make some. What are you making? I am making uh, pumpkin spice coffee for us. And what I did was, you guys, I used a quarter of a teaspoon. I measured it. Because it says a quarter of a teaspoon equals one teaspoon of sugar. Oh, really? So before I try any, and it's very clovey smell, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, it is. It's very clovey, cinnamony smell. Try it out. So try let, it. Me, let me see. So I don't know if it's going to be sweet enough. Oh, here, let me get out of the way because of the bright, bright lights. It's, it's not, very it's hot. not too bad. She knew like a F3.2, so you're okay. I need another, I need another quarter of a teaspoon. It's not sweet enough for me. I just don't want to go squeezing this out. And see, yeah, it's thick. So that's a quarter of a teaspoon. See how th it's thicker. So it was like, did you taste any at all? I tasted it lightly. Four. Boy, it's burning up over here. It's hot. Go over there. I will. I want you to taste, though, too. It's all cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon-y. Okay, well, taste it. It may not be sweet enough still. 
No, it needs more. Yeah. Like twice the amount. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Okay, so in for a pound, penny, in for a pound. So two teaspoons like Jordan skinny syrup, just like we do with Jordan's. Well, shoot. You guys have to just experiment like we are with the flavor. Yeah. Now, let me see. Let me see. That's it. Taste it. Ready? Mm hmm. That's better. Yeah. yeah. We need the creamer in it. It's better. Boy, you know what? This tastes like something you'd want to drink when you're out in the snow. Yeah. That's good, huh? And then we get that pumpkin spice creamer in there. Yeah. yeah. So we need two teaspoons of this and six drops of French vanilla, which is what I do with the Jordan Skinny Syrup all day long. That's how I make it. Anyway, I think this will be absolutely delicious with the Khalifa pumpkin spice. I think they'll play well with one another. I think it'll be beautiful and be delicious, and I've got to wait another day. Anyway, you guys, cheers. Don't you like guys, this is a chicken wrapped in bacon. Mmm, we each get two. There's two big ones and two little ones. I'm putting them in here. They're delicious. They're, They're better meat. than chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah, big time. But I mean, million they're, dollar they're, they're just pure balls of chicken. We're going to use some of this Primal Kitchen Chipotle Lime Mayo, you guys. Mm. One tablespoon equals 15 grams. Okay. On the other mayonnaise that we had yesterday, a tablespoon only weighed 14 grams. So you have to read the gram weight, and that's what I would measure as. I get two tablespoons, so I get a total of 30 grams. And I'm going to use a fork because I just think it, it's easier to get off the fork than it is a spoon. That's 30. Now, if you knew you had two tablespoons, that looks way less than two tablespoons. So it is easy to overindulge. Let's clear this out and let's see how much you get. So you get the same. That's it. Okay, you guys. It's our mayonnaise. Okay, here we go. And I weighed these out earlier. This one's mine. These are the littler of the two. And that's the bigger of the two. I weighed them out this morning. Don't well, like take a big and a small. I take a big and a It's small. a big and a small and a big and a small. This one's yours okay. and this one's mine. Right. And you guys, look at that. It's delicious. That's what we are having. Bacon wrapped chicken. Bacon wrapped chicken, you guys, with chipotle lime mayo as a dip. And a whiskey on the side. Okay. Anyway, you guys, we're going to close this out now. I'm hungry, and I want to sit down and relax for the day. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. You, you can't believe how good those taste, man. Those are going to blow your mind. Are they? Yep. I'm excited. They're so good. Well, I didn't even get a taste of yours. So you didn't get a taste of yours.